Welcome everybody to our Namasis webinar. My name is Nadine and I'm pleased to introduce to you Nicola. He will be presenting today. Today's webinar is about Microsoft Defense Endpoint Protection. The session lasts about 30 minutes. Please notice that during the presentation, your microphones will be set to mute. You may post questions during the session through the chat function or ask them at the end of the presentation. The questions will then be answered by Nicola. Now I'd like to hand over to Nicola. Please go ahead. Thank you, Nadine. Good afternoon also from my side and welcome to the webinar. As already mentioned from Nadine, the topic today is Microsoft Defender Endpoint Protection. My name is Nicola Luise and I'm working for Nomosis since more than five years. My role at Nomosis is Mobile Security Consultant. The webinar will be not too much technical, but will show more an overview how the function works and how it looks. I'm also uh, certified uh, Microsoft with MS100 and MS101. And yeah, let's start. That's the agenda. First of all, I will show you how Microsoft and what Microsoft Defender is. Then we'll show you the architecture, which capabilities they have, what kind of requirements and license you need. Then we'll show you some example. And at the end, I will show you the benefits. Enterprise mobility and security. So today they have five key components that uh, Intune, Azure Active Directory, Microsoft Cloud Tab Security and Azure Information Protection. And the part that I will show you today is advanced tweet analytics. It's now since one more than one month, it's called Microsoft 365 Defender. Here, uh, an overview of the new naming convention that they have. So the Microsoft Threat Protection is called now Microsoft 365 Defender. The part that I will show you was called Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. Then the Office 365, previously called Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection. And the part for the identity is new. It's Microsoft Defender for Identity. So the capabilities. Uh, it's agentless and it's in the cloud. So for uh, Windows 10 with the version 17.03 and uh, Windows Server 2019, you don't need any agents to be installed on these versions. And for iOS and Android, you need to install the Microsoft Defender app. The most important capability is the automated security that covers the end-to-end -end treat lifecycle from protection and detection to investigation and uh, response. Automated investigation and remediations leverage states of art to resolve the incidents. Investigation and alerts apply artificial intelligence to determine whether a treat is real and determine what action to take, going from alert to remediation and periods at scale. The requirements for that uh, on the browser, you can work with Microsoft Edge, or you can also choose Firefox or Google Chrome. There you need an add-on called Application Guard Extensions. For Windows 10, you need the version uh, Windows 10 Enterprise Pro, Pro Education, or uh, Only Education. From the Windows Server, you can also work with uh, Windows Server 2016. Then from iOS side, uh, the device should run iOS 11 or maybe 11, 12. I saw that uh, this, this week the iOS 11 is not supported anymore. And uh, also important for iOS, the device uh, should be enrolled with the Intune Company Portal app. That's the same for Android. There they have to run the version 6. And uh, the reason the, that the device should be enrolled, that is required for the device compliance policy to be enforced. The Azure role that you need uh, depends on the task that you want to do. Uh, you can work with the Intune administrator or security administrator. There we recommend to use the concept of list privilege. Here an overview of the license that you need. Uh, for Windows 10, you can work with the Windows 10 Enterprise 
E5 or A5 of education. Then uh, if you want to do, if you want to work with the mobile device, you can also buy the Microsoft 365 E5 license. This includes also the Windows 10 Enterprise or choose the Microsoft 365 E5 security. So now let's go to the product. Usually we start uh, looking with the customer on the Microsoft Score portal. The Microsoft Secure Score is a measurement of organization security poster with a higher number indicating more improvement action that should be taken. Uh, the improvement actions are organized into groups. So for identity, data, device, app or infrastructure. So usually we start with a low uh, device score and then we saw, for example, another customer that uh, at the end of the POC or other projects that uh, we increased the secure score more than 200 points only on the device level. Also on the same portal, we see a device list and uh, an incidents list. On the top you see which device that uh, is activated with Microsoft Defender and what the risk level is and exposure level and what kind of uh, platform they are running. And if active and when the last time that we saw the device. Then on the same page we have the incidents. There we have a, a good overview when the incident is uh, was coming in, what we did and if they are remediated or not. For example, here we saw that the device was coming, uh, the incident was coming in, and it was resolved by the person that I cannot show, and uh, it was cl classified that it was a true alert, so it was a malware, and what we did is that we did the security testing on this. So, and if we click on this incident, we will get the overview where that uh, incident is coming in. So, for example, here the triggered an alert by being a suspicious email that was sent to this user. And here we saw that uh, as soon that the triggers coming in, we can define actions that we should do. For example, here after that they triggered the alert, we, are, we remove the delegates on this uh, user that they cannot perform any admin task anymore. We disable the Outlook web access. And uh, we also confirmed that the user was compromised and removing all forwarding rules. And also we can, then after that, we can scan the mailbox and check all emails if we have other suspicious email with, uh, for example, malware. And there we saw that uh, other mails were suspicious. So that's the really important thing at Microsoft that uh, you can track from where that uh, file or the suspicious is coming. Also here on the incident graph that's uh, still on beta, but it's a, it's a, an example to show what, where the entry point is and which indicator of compromise or activity was observed on which device. So for example, here the word file that uh, was a malware in there was coming from the internet and then we saw that from the end device, they opened other files or uh, has run after that the file was opened a PowerShell command. So we can really track what they did after the incidents. For Windows 10, we can define what kind of uh, apps can have access to our um, data. Here, for example, we can define that uh, Power, PowerPoint, Excel or Word should have access on this um, folder, but not other apps. So that we can ensure that, uh, for example, a mobile will not have access at any time on this uh, folder. We can also automate this part and saying that, uh, that for example, a temp ordner, they don't need any uh, required approval for uh, execution, but on other files or on the root Windows folder, uh, at any time they will do a remediate treat. For malware side, here we have a list 
uh, what kind of malware can we detect and how it looks, for example, a phishing attack. If they open a, a link, they will get a warning that they are doing something that looks like a malware and uh, here's a text that we can define and also what the next steps are. For example, that we can, that the user can call the help desk and uh, explain the help desk the reason why he should access this uh, link that it seems that be suspicious. That's the part from the desktop and from mobile device. I have three screenshots with an Android uh, example that on the first screenshot that is um, opening a browser that it's the same on the desktop that will say hey that's unsafe what you're doing please go back to safety or we can also block the connection from um, a mail that has a link or something suspicious and also during they are working with the phone that the device will scan for files that seems to be a malware so we'll show that the tweet was found. Risk level overview. The review the status of all the managed devices that can use uh, a device view where the view device compliance from high level is. So looking in the specific devices to understand which compliance policy are in need so that we know how to resolve them. Deploy security baselines that establish best practice security configuration for devices. Intune includes uh, security baselines for Windows devices and a growing list of applications like Microsoft Edge. Security baselines are groups of uh, Windows settings that help apply a known group of settings and default values that uh, relevant security teams recommend or managing security configuration on device through focus policies. Each endpoint security policy focus on aspects of a device security like antivirus, uh, disk, disk encryption, firewalls, and uh, several areas made available to the integration of Microsoft Defender. We can also integrate uh, the risk level conditional access policy that means um, we can track at, uh, at any time the risk of the device and can define, for example, then uh, when the risk is high, we block access to the apps and data, or the risk is middle, we ask for an additional MFA, or when the risk is low, that uh, we also allow the access to all apps and data. Another cool feature is the advanced hunting. Uh, advanced hunting is a query-based tree hunting tool that lets uh, explore up to 30 days of raw data. Ken Proctly expects events in your network to locate read indicators and entities. The flexible access to data enables unconstrained hunting for both known and potential treats. You can use the same tree hunting first to build custom detection rules. These rules are run out automatically to check for and then respond to suspected breach activity. These configure the machines and other findings. Here on the right side, we have a big list that you can filter by everything. For example, if you want to know a process uh, ID or a device name or a file name that uh, you are searching for. And you can also create these custom detection rules to alert if a uh, device name with the webinar, it's uh, in our system. Uh, Microsoft offers also a plan to migrate from McAfee, Symantec, and um, non Microsoft endpoints. So if you are using another product there, we have a good plan to migrate to Microsoft Defender. How can we support uh, from Nomasis part? That's uh, part of the four step approach. So we can do a review of our current settings with the security assessment, or we can help you deploying the Microsoft Defender, doing, for example, a uh, proof of concept. We offer also managed service, for example, uh, to reports uh, on weekly base or monthly based uh, incident that you 
have or what you can improve. We can support you in case uh, an incident or you don't know how to proceed and we can doing also trainings for how to handle these incidents. And we can show you also life hacks that uh, show that uh, Microsoft Defender is also working. It's not only running uh, app on the device. Yeah, benefits here, uh, an overview. Again, of all the uh, benefits and how the device looks that if everything is running safe. Yeah, that was uh, an overview of Microsoft Defender. Do you have any questions? Thank you very much, Nicola. I did not receive any questions. So if anyone wants to ask something, you can unmute yourself or otherwise you can contact us anytime later. And if there's no further questions, I wish you all a nice evening and see you soon.